Hello, welcome back, and today we are going to do science! The Universe Beyond Fallout Commander deck that is called Science. There's a scientist here, Dr. Madison Lee, and enlist the brilliance of Dr. Madison Lee to build a robot army, generating energy counters with every artifact you cast. Charge up your mechanical legion, led by Liberty Prime, and stomp the opposition. Who is Dr. Madison Lee? I don't know. I don't remember anything about this game. So, Dr. Madison Lee is one of the brightest scientific minds of her time, spearheading adv advanced research in the capital wastelands and the Commonwealth. While her employers and actions are occasionally questionable, she always fights for the future of Earth. So, she is on the good guy side. So, let's see what is inside the follow deck. Science. By the way, if you are interested in seeing what is inside these and more Commander decks, I have a, a, a dedicated channel, play, playlist in my channel, so I invite you to take a look. So, if you are the, if it's the first time you're looking into Commander decks, inside you have a deck box, a cardboard deck box, which holds everything, including cards, sleeved cards, like this. Cool. Don't forget to punch out the tokens on one side and the other. There are very different tokens, this edition. And there's also these things here. The deck, the tokens, the lore, the life dial. Lots of things. See how, how much, how, how many things are, how much is packed here, you see? And let's see where to start. So this envelope normally brings this so i'm gonna put that on the side the life dial is a customized life dial where the font is in green like system administrator green and greenish cool although use the apps please um now let's take a look here at the at the collector booster sample pack let's see what good things we can get from inside here if any okay so i'm tricking the trash here on the side there's a powder ganger which i believe is a creature from another deck and the spire of industry oh, oh, oh. it's like a commander tower that you pay pay with one life cool okay <clears throat> then before going to the deck, let, let's just take a look and understand a little bit better about this commander. I like the lore. I like the context of the decks. So I, I, I dedicate some time in understanding what we have here. So the rules. And then on the other side, you have two commanders. Dr. Madison Lee and Liberty Prime. So Liberty Prime is also a commander that you can use in the deck. So she leads Project Purity, an initiative to purify radioactive and toxic waters, providing clean water for all. Through this project was shelved due to a tragic death of the leader, James Madison. So Madison Lee, James Madison. Mm -mm. Eventually, James will return to Madison seeking. No, wait, James, only James. There's a there's a comma there. Ah, comma. James. Madison would eventually pursue a dream for a better world in Rivet City, one of the cities there. Eventually, James would return to Madison, seeking to finish Project Purity. And though she was wounded from the past, she agrees to help. She utilizes her technology advancements to restore the giant war machine, Liberty Prime, and send war against the Enclave, the bad guys, who sought to steal Purity for themselves. Now, Madison Lee finds herself employed at the Institute once again looking to reshape the future of the wasteland very noble very noble and then the liberty prime the big robot here constructed through joint program between the unit uh, us army robocom and general atomics international liberty prime was designed to be a very the very embodiment of mighty might, military might. Despite their radical promise, Liberty Prime's creator were unable to develop the necessary power source. Okay, so sad. Years later, Madison Lee and the Brotherhood of Steel would restore the giant, develop a sustainable energy source, and use Project Parity to destroy the enclave. That's it. So, the energy deck, basically. Summarize too long. <coughs> Don't read too long. 
the log dot read. It's the energy deck, artifact deck, where the main commander is the girl that produces energy, and the secondary commander is a big, 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 big robot. So Madison, three mana, just a two three, not a fighter. Don't expect the user to fight. Oh, she, she does she have the Liberty Prime back there? Let's see. Liberty Prime, oh, there it is. yes, it's Liberty Prime shoulder. Yeah, it's a shoulder, she's building it. Whenever you cast an artifact, you get an energy counter. Then you can play one and give plus one trample and haste. <whistles> pay two draw, you pay four, return target artifact from graveyard to the battlefield. So a big artifact deck. And where is the foil here? Liberty Prime recharged. So only five, eight, eight, that has Vigilance, Trample and Haste. Wow, it's good, right? But the catch here is that whenever he attacks or blocks, you need to sacrifice it unless you pay two energy. So you need to keep producing energy to feed this, this thing. And in the end of the turn, after you attack, because it has Vigilance, you can tap him. You sacrifice an artifact and you get the energy you need for the next turn. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. But then you cannot block with him, so be careful with that. So I'm I, I would, I'm not sure the Liberty Prime here looks like a dangerous dangerous thing to play with. Let's see if all, how the rest of the deck would uh, feed that and sustain that economy there. Automated assembly line. Whenever one or more artifact creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, you get an energy. Energy, lots of energy. You pay three and you create colorless robots. Brotherhood Scribe, Metal Graph. You get energy, activate only. No, you get energy if you tap him. Activate only if you control three or more. Activate. So, a guy to produce more energy. Whenever you get one or more energy during this turn, Creatures you control get a plus one. <laughs> okay, so there's also giving pumps. Overcumbered. Yeah, that's what happened in the game where you have too many... When you're carrying too many items above your strength, you become encumbered. Here, so here is... Uh, like, not allowing the others to attack, which was very expected. The Breedwen, Steel Flagship. I don't remember this from the game, but that's a vehicle here that creates other vehicles, which could be used for creates humanites that could be used to crew. Sentry bot, flash, cheaper for artifacts, affinity for artifacts, and when it enters, you get energy for each attacking creature. And at the beginning of your combat, on your turn, you may pay three. If you do, put a plus one on each. One. Wow, 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 wow. There's lots of robots here. Okay, so... Exile up to one target enchantment or creature. That. Mm -hmm. And then when it goes back, at, at level three, you get back those guys. Kiri, Emergent Intelligence. So that's a robot there to cure. Or not becomes a copy of the exile creature. Mm -hmm. Except it has when this creature deal combat damage, draw a card equal to the base power. <laughs> Epa. Wow wow. But needs to exile something you control. Okay. James. Wonder oh there's James, the guy from the lore. James there. Okay. James which has adventures and Nick Valentine, Private High, the, the detect, Robot Detective, Synth Infiltrator, uh, Red Sith, <laughs> Star Wars, Assault Rum Dominator. I just had a flash. When would they do a Universes Beyond with, with Star Wars? <sighs> that would bring the world down, right? Now they are doing Marvel, so it's one step closer to get Star Wars into magic. I know now there's a Star Wars trading card game. We know that. There are also Marvel things around. I don't think that would stop them to make more money. The Mother Load Excavator. So the Mother Load attacks. You need to pay. And then you cannot block it without flyers. Plasma Caster. Keep the creature at plus one. When the attacks produces that. And then you pay. 
you choose tap creature that is that is blocking flip a coin if you win exile it otherwise it takes one damage that's good sin eradicator so these sins are the cyborgs or something arcade ganon electro siphon red dead ship wrecker crab mutant crab mutant rex Cyber out Rex police dog <clears throat> Sentinel Sorrow Lions Also humans here Sean Father of Sins the guy that creates the robots Sadistic Simulation The Brotherwood Vertibird Another vehicle T forty five power armor Pharaoh's Lake It's a land Elius One, wow, that's a satellite. No, that's that tower there, but it looks like a satellite beam. Austere Command, destroy all artifacts, creatures. That's a board wipe. I think we've seen this card, it's a reprint, right? Open the vaults, mechanized production, <clears throat> one with the machine, one with the machine. Wake the pasts. Beep, 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 beep. Mythic Forge. That's a workbench. <laughs> Panharmonicon. That's really powerful. Ability whenever an artifact or creature is entered the battlefield, causes a triggered ability or permanent control to trigger. That ability triggers an additional time. So Solon Simulacrum. We've seen this in all decks, almost still overseer. These robots are very typical from Fallout. You put a plus one to count on each artifact creature you control. What? This is all rares. It's a rare, 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 rare. You see that? Rare, rare, there's a land here. <clears throat> rare, at least the symbol there, the, or the symbol is always the same, I don't know. Am I wrong now? No. Rare, like where, like one third of the deck or more than one third is already all rares. Sky Cloud Expanse, Spire of Industry. Oh, we got that on the booster. Silver Falls, Temple of Enlightenment, Temple of Epiphany, Treasure Vault, Paladin Dance, the Steel Maverick, Nerd Rage. Wow, it gets plus ten, plus ten. What? Robo Brain War Mind. Bottle Cap Blast. Elder Owen Lions. Behemoth of Vault Zero. C6, that's the Guardian of the Vault. Looks like it with a machine in there. Something that gets closer. It's killed. Camp. Endurance Bubble Hat. Expert level safe. So that's the skills that you use in the game to lockpick. Intelligence bubble hat. The Nuka Cola vending machine. Crush contraband. Dispatch. Oh, there's Liberty Prime beaming a shopper there. Tap target creature. Dispatch. Slow sword to plowshares. The robots now are cultivating. Glimmer of genius. Thirst for knowledge. Well, ugh, drinking the Nuka Cola there. It's so disgusting. Wow, look at that machine gun. The, the, the surgeon is now a warrior. Loyal apprentice. Unexpected. Windfall. 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 That's win windfall profit. Because that's a, gain, a, a gun, right? That is our insignia. Chalice. Lightning Greaves. Typical. The Mind Stone is the pet ball. We've seen that. Another the talismans. Okay, so talisman of creativity. So this is blue and red. And they, they think that creativity is the brain. Brain and something. Okay. Talisman of progress. Raised by robots. Surgical journals. Sort of like scientific studies. Thought vessel. The bubble. Parents, buried ruin, the command tower. 
Mystic Monastery, Path of Ancestry. There are more than the lands, what we haven't seen the, the island yet. Look at that, there's the hero with the dog. Very similar to the TV series that is going to, to, to go to TV soon. Look at the island here, it's a lake there. And... Oh, is that a nook collar? A big nook collar? Now I see it. It's a, a bottle of a nook collar. Something representing nook collar. I don't know. And the planes. What about the planes? Oh, the train station looks very uh, apocalyptic. Wasteland. Train station. Everything is rust. Okay. I'm enjoying this deck. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I, I'm not. I've, I've seen say it. I've said it on other videos. I'm not a fan of the IP, to be honest. There are plenty more things that I'm a fan. And I would prefer to see in Magic rather than Fallout. Fallout is completely irrelevant for me. I played a few games, but it's not. it doesn't pump my heart. But I think they've done a good job with these decks because they, they really represent the things. So, Human Knights, Doctors, Copy, Treasure, Food, the Robots another treasure so the money is the, 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 the caps like in the game clues junk and lots of rapid so lots of treasures that will pop out and that's it this was science a very the feeling of this deck is very good right so it was positive things and noble things so i hope you have enjoyed it and to the point that you consider leaving a like in this video and i'm I have a full playlist dedicated to Magic the Gathering and Commander content, so I invite you to see the channel, subscribe, other card games, board games in general, and I truly believe there is content for you to watch and to consider subscribing and be part of this community for the future. Thank you for watching until the end, and I see you in the next one. Goodbye.